Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial. And today we are painting Militarum Tempestus Scions in the colours of the 55th Capic Eagles. Yes, this is the box art version of these that you see on all of their normal stuff. The lovely sort of bluish grey armour that they have. And we're going to be painting them up today as this is part of the Ashes of Faith box. This is where they've got them, and they've come from Games Workshop early for me to build up and paint for all of you, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing. And it's a really cool scheme, and I thought I'd show you how I would like to do it. Now, these are one of the ancillary support options that you can have for your inquisitorial agents uh, to draft in some extra help with dealing with that chaos scum. And, well, <laughs> we're going to jump in and start painting them. They've been primed in grey sear. And the colour we're going to be using first is Thunderhawk Blue. And we're going to be applying this over the top of all of the armour. And I know that means some of you at home are thinking, hang on a minute, I thought this was a contrast plus painting tutorial. And it is, trust me. However, Thunderhawk Blue really is just the perfect colour to have down as the base. Now, it is a layer paint, so it might take you two thin coats to get a nice, smooth, consistent finish all over. But I'm going to get this done across all of the armor plates. Just like this. If we're painting the whole unit of five, you can get the first one done and then get the rest of them done. And by the time the fifth one has got its first coat, the rest of them will be dry. So with that Thunderhawk blue all applied, what we're now going to do is move on to our next colour, which is going to be some Skeleton Horde. And we're going to apply this over the top of all of the clothes and the sleeping bag the bedroll on the back of their well on the tops of their backpacks so with that skeleton horde all applied what we're now going to do is we're going to take some black legion and we're going to apply this over the top of our black leather sections, as well as any other black details that you want to have. So this is going to include areas like the boots, but not the sort of leather wraps that go around the boots. So we're going to get the toes and the heel. Like this sort of thing. And we've got that little kind of strip of boot. Just up there. Like that sort of thing. In addition, what we have is we have the way too much paint on our brush there. Uh, we have the cable connecting the gun to the power pack.
that sort of thing. And then on our Hotshot Laz guys, we do have some black details on the guns. So we have the sort of wrap at the front of the Laz gun here. And we also have the casing of the scope. this as well as the gloves so with that done what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Saigor brown and we're going to use this to paint in the rest of the leather details That's Saigor brown all applied. What we're now going to do is take some pterodon turquoise and we're going to apply this over the top of the rifle casing. So with that done, just whilst we're waiting for the pterodon turquoise to dry, because we do have another layer to add over the top, we are now going to add a layer over the top of all of our armour as well, because we need to just kind of add a little bit of more oomph to it, a little bit more impact. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some Space Wolves Grey, and we're going to apply this over the top. Now you don't need loads here. We're not looking to really darken it down. What we're just looking to do is add just that little bit of extra colour and a little bit of extra shading. So with that Space Wolves Grey applied, what we're now going to do is we're gonna take some Black Templar we're going to apply this over the top of those weapon casings. So with that now done, it's time to work on the metallics. And the first one is going to be some thinned down Iron Warriors. I'm going to apply this over the top of all of our mechanical parts of our guns, screens and lenses. Buckles, straps, and any other areas that you want to be silver. So with that Iron Warriors all applied, the last base coat we're gonna add, well, consistent base coat, is gonna be some thinned down Retributor armor. We're gonna apply this over the top of all of our remaining details. So with all of that Retributor armor applied, we've got one last base coat to apply, and that's because we have a plasma gun. And the color we're gonna be using for that is Frostheart. I'm gonna be applying this over the top of the plasma coils. So with that done, all of our base coats are now on, on our Tempesta Scion. So 
What we're going to do now is we're going to add some shades. And the first one we're going to add is some Nuln Oil. And we're going to be applying this over the top of the black details and the silver details. And so with that null oil all applied, we're then gonna take some Gilliman flesh. I'm gonna use this to shade all the gold. So with that done, our Capic Eagles are now what I would call a war hipster battle ready, but we're not gonna leave them there. No, of course not. We're gonna take them to the next level. And we're gonna do this by adding some highlights. Now, the first one we're gonna add is some thinned down rust gray. And we're gonna use this to highlight all of the armor. So with all of those rust grey highlights applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down screaming skull. We're going to use this to re-layer all of our bone to all of our clothes. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Ulthwin Grey. I'm going to use this to highlight their face masks that we painted with the Space Wolves Grey. So with that Ulthwin Grey applied, we're then going to take some Cyberite Green. I'm going to use this to highlight the gun casings. So with that all done, it's now time to move on to the black details. The color we're going to be using to highlight these is some thinned down Dawnstone. I'm going to start here on the cable. So with that now done, what we're going to do is move on to the metallics. So the color we're going to be using is iron hands steel and what we're going to do is we're going to use this i don't know why it was so dramatic then what we're going to do is we're going to use this to recover any of the lenses and screens like that one and we're also going to use this to highlight all of our other silver details And so with all of that iron hand steel now applied, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Liberator Gold. And we're going to be doing a series of highlights and also relayers. So we don't want to make this too complicated. And the Tempestus Gold is quite bright. So what we're looking to do here is on, rather than kind of picking out the edges on these armor pieces, we're really just looking to do a bit of a relayer whilst avoiding the deepest, darkest shadows.
just like this sort of thing. We've got a really nice recess at the bottom. So with that Liberator Gold all applied, there is just one last thing left to do. And that is to color in all the lenses and screens and things like that. And we're gonna be using two colors for this. We're gonna be using Warp Lightning and Blood Angels Red. Now we're gonna take Warp Lightning and we're gonna apply this over the top of the little lasers. So we've got one up here. And we've got the eye lenses as well like that and we're also going to apply this over the top of their little computer screens why am i holding both at once i don't know like that and what we're going to do with the blood angels red specifically He's going to use this over the top of any scopes. Like that. And so with their bases complete, our 55th Capic Eagles are now finished. It's a real classic one, this one, for the Tempestus Scions. I really, really like the scheme. You could, of course, go for the Scion Jackals, which is the other one that they usually use as sort of red and silver look but I thought we should probably get this one done because it's the box art and you know how much I love box art and well I think it just looks absolutely fabulous proper special forces not like those Kasakin. if you enjoyed this video you love the channel and you'd like to support me further you absolutely can do so head to patreon.com forward slash war hipster just like these bosses have done scrolling up on the screen before you whose continued support helps me continue to make all the wonderful content that you enjoy alternatively you could become a youtube channel member by clicking on the join button on the channel page or just below this video like these wonderful amazing people have done and if you really like this video and you just want to shoot me a little thanks you can click on the thanks button just below this video don't forget to share it like it comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all very soon in the next one happy wargaming